Hi, Nadia Dixon here with the Master's Program for Women, and I want to say Happy Thanksgiving. You know, Psalm 100 verse 4 says, Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. This isn't just a mere expression of gratitude. This is a spiritual force or a key of the kingdom. There's a protocol to entering the presence of God. In fact, Jesus teaches his disciples how to enter the presence of God to pray. He says, when you go before the Father, say, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. In other words, we are glorifying him. We are meditating on him. And the more we meditate on the goodness of God, his faithfulness, his character, his majesty, his unconditional love. It evokes praise and thanksgiving because we know we have nothing good of ourselves to bring before him. So this is a key to the gates of entering into his presence. Now Jesus talks about another key. He talks to his disciples about the gates of hell. First he says, the gate to the kingdom of heaven is narrow. He says, I am the gate. And as he's talking to his disciples about the gates of hell, he says, they will not prevail against you. You are part of my church. You are part of my ecclesia and the gates of hell will not prevail against you. So as for you and as for me, wherever God has called us, you know, in the master's program, we're learning about our kingdom purpose, our kingdom assignment, as we're learning more about kingdom identity. We do not have to fear where God is calling us to extend his kingdom and continue his rescue plan because the gates of destruction cannot prevail against us. In fact, I am going to be graduating or commissioning two classes of women in California next week. And I'll be encouraging them as I commission them saying, wherever God is calling you, he has authorized you to go and seek and save that which is lost. And if he's calling you to areas of um, rescue, rescuing women from human trafficking, or going across the world to bring Jesus to a people who has never heard of him, you know, we do not have to be concerned in our calling because God said that where I'm calling you, hell cannot prevail against you. So this should be encouraging. You know, in session eight of the master's program, we talk about the difference between authority and influence. Now, authority, natural authority is limited. It's limited to our lifetime. It's limited to um, our title or our tenure. But influence is far greater because it's capacity. We can, we can reach farther, we can reach longer, and it can exceed our lifetime. And that depends on our moral authority and our faithfulness. You know, we are gatekeepers and our influence determines the type of gatekeeper that we are. We can walk in the principles of the, of the Lord in our leadership and we can walk in gratitude, we can walk in humility and in trust in God and we become attractive and invite others through these gates to heaven. But if we're walking in greed or fear, uh, scarcity mindedness, then we're actually exposing the baser things. And we don't want to be that kind of a gatekeeper. So my question to you is, are you representing the kingdom through righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost, especially as we're gathering around tables this holiday season? My encouragement to you and a reminder to myself is, I represent a kingdom and I can be a gatekeeper and I want to walk like Jesus walked. I want to say what my father says and I wanna do what I see my father do. I invite you to come into this glorious um, holiday doing the same. Until then, I'm in your corner.